So we finna check out the park for NBA 2K25. See what we balling in, what we breaking ankles in. Um, are you gonna listen to the new Dochi album? I've never even heard of Dochi. Is it good? Um, bada 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 bada. Let's check it out. The city. Oh, please be smaller. I wanna play Dune. Dune does look pretty good. Here we go. Is PC gonna have anti cheat? Nigga, you know they don't. Come on, it's 2K. Are they gonna have good servers? Is the better question. Oh, we can spit on our head in the city. Ah, uh, they're going with like kind of like almost like a Celtics theme for the wreck, basically. That's that, I mean, that's the vibe I'm getting because Jason Tatum's on the cover. So they're trying to go with like a, a bench warmer type of court vibe, you feel me? More sweat. Was that was that um was that shakedown? We love to see our brothers getting a check. Went from content creator to getting a check. I hate 2K, but I like to see black people win. So you know, I'm gonna let it rock. Shout out to shout out to Shakedown. Be back in the game. They bringing back the old courts. What what year was this? Because I've seen these before. What year was these? Is this on PS4? It is. I don't know if these courts will be on PS4. Um, is 2K15? I knew these were older courts. Yeah, 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 I was like, this isn't 14. I don't think. I don't really remember 15 and 16's courts like that. The only court I really remember was Sunset Beach. That might have been 16's court that I'm thinking of. Uh, so these are 15s. Does it? Uh, listen, let me ask y'all. For the 2K heads in this, does this excite you? Like the old courts are back? Does this excite you? Can you do the trolling series again? I had a whole, hey, did you know I had a whole channel dedicated to, um, you said no. I had a whole channel dedicated to trolling. Did you know that? And hardly anybody watched it. Kind of goes back to the conversation I had about, um, People in live service games, they don't know what they want. Niggas will tell me to do something and won't watch it. That's why I stop. I don't listen to y'all no more. I only look at the data. And the data suggests long form, video essay, um, documentary style content is the wave right now. You said the Mike Menace? Yeah, the Mike Menace one. I got rid of it. Wasting my time. Also, I'm just not passionate about it. That's not to say I won't troll in Call of Duty or 2K every once in a while. When it presents itself, I still do it for the people who casually watch. I still do it, but I do it when it presents itself. When somebody's talking shit on the mic, I'm going to talk shit back. But do I go out of my way anymore? No, I'm not passionate about that. I'm not 19 anymore, guys. I'm 30. I turned 34 about two weeks ago. Let it go. This guy, yeah, when it's organic, it's legitimately fun. It's literally funny. I'd argue he trolls the chat every stream. <laughs> said unk status yeah because here's, here's a different perspective too right like on some real shit yeah trolling at 34 gets tiresome on some real shit if i was just trolling all the time on the flip side a lot of y'all be like yo you too old for that shit i mean y'all do it to some of y'all favorite rappers right now when um what was it uh when j cole did the grippy shit people was posting screenshots of his age he said facts that's what i'm saying like you can't listen to people bro. you only got to listen to the data it's grippy I didn't see what happened there. I'm over here yapping. It's grippy. I'm 33. I understand you. Like, let it happen. Like, just have fun with it. I'm never going to be on that court. I'm not trying to sweat. <laughs> I do like that the my courts are back so that we can run private matches. Uh, that was one thing that I hated about the last few 2Ks. It felt like you always had to hop online in the wreck and sweat or the park and sweat. Sometimes you just want to get on and have fun. And, like, I... <sighs> It's an old feature, but I really I really hope they keep it in there. The my court so you can run private matches with friends and just have fun. Getting used as a shield is terrifying. It's great. Yeah, my priorities change now that I'm 30. The priorities change. Become a legend. Like as unk, some of y'all will see it when you get over 30, you get tired of shit that used to excite you under 25. Yeah, and then new things like excite you. Um, like I'll give you an example too, um, why it's important to age gracefully. 
um, you may not like it at first, but people will respect you and they'll learn to move along with you. I was watching a video from, um, I keep fucking his name up, FD Signifier, I think. And he was talking about, um, what's old boy? What's his name? Uh, the black, He's black. Um, Speed. He was talking about Speed and he was talking about how like Speed has grown on him because he's like matured. I don't know if y'all seen that video, but somewhere in that video, he showed a clip of Speed and he was somewhere in Europe. It looked like it was Italy or something. And he was talking about how like, how because of his old content, he's cultivated a fan base that thinks that they can talk to him any kind of way. And then he shows this clip of his fans calling him the hard R. No, thank you. Like, I don't I don't want that. No, thank you. And that comes from never coming out of that character and just joking all the time. So I like to remind people, like, I am a person. I am a person, guys. I'm not a fucking court gesture. Uh, I because I'm not gonna lie. He and he, I'll give it to him. He he handled it very well. Apparently, that happens to him all the time because I don't watch his content, but he handled that shit very well. Because I don't know how I would respond to that. Like, I'd be like, all right, bro, stream's over because y'all not gonna do that to me. Uh, it's getting a little weird. I don't think he can pivot at all at this point. Yeah, he's like he's almost like in too deep. And like I never wanted to get in too deep. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm sitting here yapping. This did nothing for me. Probably because I'm not even gonna be in the park. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I me and my friends, we play rec. And then we're probably gonna play my court. Um every once in a while we'll play a little bit of pro am, but then we realize we don't care to sweat. Uh this did nothing for me. It was cool that we got to see the the rec a little bit, but eh. Niggas will make a fool out of themselves on the internet just to fill their wallet at the expense of their mental health. I'm somebody who really practices the mental health shit, bro. Do what's best for you. You understand it when you get older. You saw the new gameplay footage for Phantom Blade Zero, the one that came out like a week ago? Yeah. Um, What build you gonna make? Flock is really adamant about playing PG. And like, I'm never, I've never been against anybody else in the friend group running PG. It's just more so like, I'm one of the more consistent people that plays and then people like when I do it because I'm a good passer and I get everybody involved. But uh, Flock says he's going to be there. He says he's going to be playing consistently with us. So I said I will move off of PG. So originally I was going to make an SGA type of high layup build. Now I'm not 100% sure because I also don't know who's going to play. I'm either going to make a 3 and D at the wing. I'm going to make some type of lockdown 3 and D or I'm going to make a or center because I don't know who's playing center because because I know Nomad said he wants to play the four. Uh, can you make more than one? Yeah, I always make at least two builds. It, it depends on what we need. But yeah, it's either going to be a three or, or a, yeah, Pat Bev. Did. Like, I've always low-key wanted to make like a full-blown lockdown build where I just steal the ball all the damn time. I'm letting y'all know I ain't going to be on like I used to. We know you got a job, see? Look, going back to the conversation we just talked about about like growing up, Chaos is pushing 32. He sees what we're talking about. He got a job now. He got a dog pissing all over his bed. He's busy now, so he can't be on the game as much. <laughs> so he's letting you know he's not going to be on the game. It just it just happens when you get there, when you get there, bro. The only reason I'm blessed to do this shit is because it's my job. And But I never I never forget that shit. I never forget that shit. But even still, I have other things to do, even if it's my job. Um he said pissy sheets. Yeah, he tweeted about it. I ain't putting his business out there. He tweeted about his. You should get one of those. You should get one of those sheet protectors. I meant to put that in the group DM. You should get a sheet protector that goes over your bed. So if he pees on your bed, you could take the sheet protector off and wash it so the piss doesn't get on your mattress. Because uh, when I first got Aki, he would do that shit too. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, so either. Yeah, I might have to make a center because now Chaos said he's not playing. I might make both a lock and a center. Uh, we'll see. Do you miss your regular job? No, I wouldn't. It's stressful being an independent uh, contractor, being self-employed, because if I don't go, the ship don't move. But that being said, I also recognize the blessings of it. Like an example being is yesterday, right? Wednesday, I said that I'll see you guys tomorrow on Thursday stream. And I actually meant that, but I forgot the next day was Thursday and Thursday's the day my girl is off. So that's the day we spend the day together. So then I was like, that's why I didn't stream yesterday, because, you know, you got to make time for people, right? So, like, even though I said I was going to be here for stream, I didn't because I chose to spend time with her. Um, and I can afford to do that because, I, you know, I'm blessed enough with this job that I can take a day off. Uh, that being said, the days when I'm on, I got to go hard, basically. Uh, so, nah, I wouldn't trade it for the. It's stressful, but then there's all this. If I want to wake up and say, fuck it, I want to watch an anime today, I can. Uh, it's all about uh, having that balance and that discipline to work hard when you need to be, which is where a lot of people struggle when they go full time. Something even I struggled with when I went full time. 
uh, goes from being a hobby to like, damn, I need to really like be on this shit. And you really got to focus more on the numbers. Um, yeah, it's like a give and take type of thing. So now I wouldn't trade it for it. I, the stories that I hear from, cause I still have plenty of friends that work regular nine to fives. The stories that I hear people stressing, being stressed out, like, no, thank you. I don't want to work for nobody. Uh, I, I like being self-employed, uh, as well as employing people too. Uh, so that's the park trailer. That's the park trailer. It didn't move me as you can see, cause I'm yapping. Uh, but maybe we can get some more interesting information in the actual court side where they break things down. Man, playing games for a living is the goal. That's one way of looking at it. I don't, I don't really. <laughs> What's the name? The people who play games for a living, they usually don't last long. Uh, yo, shout out to Demo with the sub. Appreciate it. I do produce content, guys. Like, <laughs> like I, I like I do produce scripts, write, produce, record, all this other shit. That takes a lot. It is a lot of work. Uh, it's not it's not an easy job. And then you're constantly there's always there's always new competition. There's always new younger hipper people coming out. It's not as easy as you think. It's not as easy as you think. I would never say it's like it's all about a matter of perspective, right? Like it's obviously not as hard backbreaking work as um like a construction worker, but it is hard it's hard mentally. Uh but a bit but because you have to study the market a lot and you have to if you want to be a top tier, if you just want to be somebody who gets by paycheck to paycheck, then yeah, you could just play games for a living. But no, I do. I spend a lot of time doing research on a multitude of different things, writing, producing, brainstorming. He does a lot more than gaming. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I spend more time producing content than I do gaming. The only gaming I really do is on this stream, <laughs> which is like if you do the math, it's like two to three hours. I'm, yo, I'm going to be honest. I game just as much as probably a lot of y'all. Like <laughs> now, if you're somebody who solely only streams, then yeah, they play games 14 hours a day. But if you're making real content that requires real effort, you won't be gaming as much. Trust me. Let's see what the course side report is hitting for. Welcome back to another NBA 2K25. Don't you do consulting too? I'm Chris Manning. Sometimes with people in the Discord. Today we're joined by Eric Benish, VP of NBA Development at Visual Concepts, who's going to bring. Do you see yourself behind the scenes in the future as far as writing and producing? I definitely can do it. I learned it from the G4 days, as well as my parents and my girl produces. Not a girl produce. My girl keeps trying to push me to figure out how to get into that. She's like, the way you judge television shows and the way you talk about it, she's like, you could easily be like a producer. She's like, you have a deep appreciation for like art. And the more the more I start to talk about music, I'm starting to understand it. I guess it's because I don't want to come across as like egotistical, but I, I do think I have a deeper understanding of a creativity. I think that I'm almost like the antithesis like of like a DJ academics. It's funny because people compare me to him. And that's why I say I don't feel like I'm like him because I feel like I talk more about music. Like when we talk about music or movies, I really talk about the intricacies, even gaming of what I like and dislike. So you can't nobody call me a hater versus just like gossip stuff, which that's no disrespect to him because there's a market for that. That's why he's popping. I just have appreciation for music basically. And I think there's a market for people who want to consume more intelligent type of perspectives. As well as with a douse of humor in there. Uh, PS5 Pro release dates. I, I got that. We're going to talk about it later. Um, so, yeah, I think there's space for me to get into it. It's just a matter of a win, basically. It's a matter of win. Not going to lie. The content creation shit is hard part-time even. I'm even blessed position. I feel like a lot of people would be a lot more blessed if they had your mentality where they just accept that, hey, I'm going to be a part-time creator and that's okay. What's My thing is, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with making an extra a thousand to two thousand dollars, let's say five hundred to like two thousand dollars a month off content creation and also working a part time job? If most people, if more people adopted that mindset, I think more people would actually be able to go full time eventually. But what happens is too many people go from working their nine to five to saying, fuck it, I'm going to give myself six months to get a hundred thousand subscribers. Next thing you know, niggas got a Patreon selling feet pics. Or they got a, a GoFundMe, hey guys, uh, can't make rent. Nah, nigga, nah, <laughs> we don't care. That was your decision. Down all things. And don't, and, and let me tell you something about those creators. Don't let them make you, don't make, don't let them guilt you into paying them. Like, uh, I've literally seen people have, don't help me pay for my rent. You, I rarely have a donation bar on my, uh, a donation goal on my bar, on my stream, I mean. The only times I ever really have a donation goal on my stream is because it was something for y'all, basically. Like the time we went to E3, I could not afford at the time to afford flights for all my friends so we could cover E3. I had a donation goal up so that we can produce content for y'all at E3. Or when we had like the um the Street Fighter tournament, it was money for 
it was money to give back to the community for like the, a prize, basically to win or whatever. But like niggas be having up donation goals for their rent, talking about oh this is to improve the stream. Like no, it's not. It literally says on your stream it's so you can pay your rent. If you made better content, you would make more money off your ad revenue. But that's a hard conversation to have because a lot of creative types are mad sensitive. Um, that's why I'm not friends with a lot of them because they pussy. But anyways, um, An exciting. <laughs> let's get back to this 2K. In 2K25, Eric, welcome. Chris, Alexis, thank you so much for having me. The team has been working incredibly hard in the city this year. We have a lot of amazing stuff to talk about today. A lot of it has been all user feedback. And you were impressed about not going to E3? Course, Real shit. I'm really excited to tell everyone how you can play. I tried to do a value exchange. City this year. We've heard that there are a lot. I say drop five subs in the chat because I feel like I'd be, I be giving free game away. Let me give five subs. But I don't just be asking for money, bro. New thing. <laughs> what do players look forward to when playing NBA 2K25? When your favorite streamer gets into vinyl, so the city I'm into it. Can I say, vinyl. since I started since I started buying vinyl and I've been posting that shit, uh, a lot of people have been tweeting me, they collections. People have been DMing me on Instagram. A lot of people have been saying, oh, I've been thinking about it. Because I was on the fence, too. I've, I've been thinking about it, and like you find... You, you, I think a lot of people are feeling the same way that I was feeling about the Spotify, the Apples, as well as people pulling games off of people's hard drives. Ownership, ownership is becoming a bigger thing. And I, I think, I don't know, vinyl is just, if you're going to own, vinyl is cooler than CDs to me. If you want to go for CDs, cool. I'm not mad at it because they're more, they more compact. But to me, like having that artwork is cooler. Um, shout out to Plump. But I've seen a lot, I've gotten a lot of DMs like, yo, this is what I, I, I've been thinking about. I'm getting into it. Like, so shout out to everybody collecting. To shout out to Plump with the, uh, with the sub. Everything for us. The city is significantly smaller. It's much more intimate. I've been doing that with the Blu-rays. Whatever you into. This is quicker. And the entire city this year is designed with basketball in mind. So the main street, we're calling it the Boulevard. Move them speakers yet? The Shh. Street has like I'm trying to figure out where to put them. So there's murals painting. I might have to get something to elevate them. Bringing home that basketball feel. The light posts are green release animation light posts. They look incredible. Wow. The really cool aspect of the Boulevard of the Stars is. Shout out to the 850 people we got in here. If you're new, hit the follow button. Boulevard. There's a basketball representing each NBA Finals winner in NBA history. And one really cool aspect of it is you can continue to add your own stars to this walk of fame uh, as you play through my career and win NBA titles. So you're kind of designing the city yourself as you go, which is really cool. Can you expand on Elite versus Rise this year in NBA 2K25? In NBA 2K25, both of It better not be no space parks. Niggas is not trying to go to the moon. We trying to hoop. No, thank you. Affiliations are getting brand new parks. And the court layouts are very tight, so it's really easy to hop from one court to the next. You don't have to- I gotta get a Tevin Campbell vinyl. Variables. It's just getting on the court and playing basketball. So the new that's what, that's what I affiliation find. park is built into an old, worn down fort that used to be a bustling pirate scene a long, long time ago. What the, the fuck? Of the entire affiliation is a beautiful pirate ship that you can actually play on top of. Who asked for this shit? Do y'all like this? I don't understand. Like, I don't want to hoop on a pirate boat. Why can't you make like some type of recreate? Like one thing I want, niggas love to clown NBA Live, but one thing NBA Live did is all their courts were fire. Why can't you do a recreation of Rutgers Park? Like, why can't we get some real type shit, bro? I think that's one of the reasons why. Shout out to Scuba Sky with the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. I think that's one of the reasons why people love Sunset Beach all the time. Uh, they, they bring up they love it all the time. Because low-key Sunset Beach is Venice Beach in LA. It pretty it's it's a recreation. Like, why can't we get some real cool courts? Do some international. I remember they had one court in the Philippines that was like um famous at NBA Live. Their courts were fire. And inside of. I think fans are gonna have a lot of fun exploring. We're over here hooping with the flying Dutchman. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's such a waste of resources. And it makes the game lag, bro. You got a boat, you got a you got a, a, a fair boat swinging back and forth in the background, just lagging up the game and shit. Just put a fucking basketball court down. God damn. It's built into a gigantic Yeah, with Davy Jones and Peter Pan in the background. What the fuck is this? Mech robots being built. They're in various We we hooping in a Gundam factory? This is why we play the this is crazy. <laughs> like I'm not mad, but it's fucking funny. Who said, yeah, let's hoop in a Gundam factory. We hooping in a Tesla factory. What is this? Love their affiliation park this year. It's built into- Hooping with the Scallywags. Factory. And as you're playing in there, you can see these 75 foot tall <laughs> robots being built. They're in various phases of wow. construction. It's a really neat experience. And I think people are really- Maybe I'm a hater. Maybe, I, what, chat, what's y'all opinion? Y'all want to hoop? <laughs> y'all want to hoop with, um, with nightmares from um, <laughs> nightmares from fucking Code Geass, y'all want to uh, hoop with the robots from Evangelion? Is, is <laughs> hooping with Megatron and shit? Like, what does this have to do with basketball, bro? 
<laughs> oh shit. I feel like the original parks, the reason they worked is they kind of encapsulated the street culture. It's like we're getting away from the street culture. What what is this, dude? They're so out of touch with the community. That's what I'm saying, dude. What is this, man? Oh like god. Time when you're playing in there. Tell us more about game modes in the city. Like, you know, it'd be fire if they stole some shit from NBA Street. We're like, or no, they steal some elements from NBA Live and then some shit from NBA Street. We're like, in NBA Live, they had a bunch of different international popular courts in if different countries, and then maybe get like somebody like Barbito Garcia, Garcia or whatever, or like, or I don't know, what's the name of the dude who be who be shoutcasting during the um when they be doing runs at Rucket or whatever? Like get somebody actually from the street to actually call the games like an NBA Street, like that shit would be cool, and give the people the option to turn it off in case they want to hear it. But like actually put some street elements like Duke Tango. Yeah, whoever that is. Yeah, like put some stuff in there that actually in encapsulates the culture of basketball. So all of your funk flex somebody. I'm really feeling right now the new wreck. I think get big Tigger for a DC court or something like something. What I really want to talk about today are the new game experiences we're bringing into the city in 2K25. We might have hinted that the My Court is back in NBA 2K25, and I can confirm it is definitely back. It has all the things you're familiar with and that you love and that you want from it. It has customization. It's a safe place to practice your game. You can invite your My Court teammates in to play with you. You can invite your actual friends in to play with you. And another item that- It's crazy how they're, they're like celebrating features that was in the game like three, four years ago that they took away for no fucking reason, by the way private matches as which is really cool is you can kind of adjust the sliders yeah, it should have never left now it's a selling court. point custom for each mode in the city so you can really practice how you're playing in each mode as you prepare to compete i can't wait to get in there and work on my game but i did notice you said the word compete so expand on that compete and competition is kind of been a mantra for the team this year i really feel honestly like it's an area we've kind of lacked in years past so i really wanted a place to drive home competition in the city and this year we're introducing a new game mode called proving grounds it is the ultimate place for competition in the city this year. It's ranked play. There's four different modes you can play in. There's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5. It's comp level sliders, shot meters are turned off. The top 100 players in each of the four modes will have their global rank displayed right on their gamer play. Mm, this will be all, this is gonna be all where the park sweats is. I pray to God, this is where the park sweats are at. I need all niggas that don't use shot meter, spend $100,000 on VC to be in the proving grounds. That way we can come back. Because one thing, here's another thing I miss about 2K and why we only play the rec. What up, uh, Nomad? The park used to be fun. The park used to be fun. One match, it was just a fun casual match. The next, it was sweaty. Get a couple sweaty matches. One fun, one fun match. Now you go in the park, it ain't nothing but a nigga sitting there with Hall of Fame brick wall. Now you can get legend brick wall. They be sitting there with Hall of Fame brick wall with a six foot point guard just standing there going under screens, dribbling, 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 dribbling the clock out. On, at 22 seconds, they shoot a three and hit it. Just sweating up a storm, trying to get clips for their fucking failing YouTube channel. You niggas ruined the community for 25 views. This is crazy. Um, so I pray those people, y'all go to the proving grounds. Yeah, <laughs> go to the, that's what we're calling it, the unemployed grounds. Please go over there so people who just want to play the game and have fun can go to the park. Go to the rec. Because the problem with the rec and the even program it program is it's 5v5. With the park, you only need three people. Sometimes you don't have five. So it'd be nice to be able to go back in the park and just have some fun instead of having to sweat all the goddamn time. Their banner at the bottom of the screen. So you can really run around the They're not going. They want to pub stomp. This particular mode. The leaderboards Losers. Every season, we're giving out prizes for the top five in each game mode. They're really good prizes. You want to- Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. You might be wrong. You might be wrong. Let's see what the- They're giving out prizes for sweating. What are the prizes? Well, this is just a place for people to go in and show off what their skills are. It's a really fun place to play, and anyone who participates in Proving Grounds this year will be earning the best rep in the city in 2K25. They didn't even state the prizes, bro. You should have stated the prizes, man. They should have gave them something, like, really cool. Like, you get a Lambo, you can drive around the city. Niggas gonna fight for that. <laughs> Streetball is something that really empowered us to spend a lot more time leveling up. How long before the PC version becomes unplayable because of hackers? Day one. Day one, you're going to have 99 overall mascots. Enjoy. 
this year and making it a lot better. You can do optional co-op play with your friends this year. There are they give them a Hellcat. Beautiful street courts for you to play in, and there are a whole new host of bosses for you to beat. Again, you can do it with your friends if you want, and you can play for amazing cosmetic rewards this year. They're really unique. Street Ball in 2K25, I think, is going to be that's another. That's a PVE mode? So based on everything you're saying, it sounds like there's a lot of new content for players to enjoy this year. There the marketing team be on point with full in these 2K bots? They the really do. We learned about Triple Threat Park, a new experience right in the city, and it's something that I really... Ah, the pay to win mode really excited about for Did they say if it's cross play with pc's cross i don't think it is i didn't see anything about it and i pray it's not i'm okay i'm okay with cross i would go back to pc if they put anti-cheat on pc and they added cross play i would go back to pc but i don't i don't think they did long time players of my career to really enjoy. This entire new park is the remaster of NBA 2K16's Rivet City Rooftop Court. We remastered it, recreated it. It uses next-gen tech, next-gen lighting. It looks amazing. It's a one-to-one -one homage of the original park. If you were at all a fan of that, I strongly encourage you to get in here and try this experience out. Oh my God. Rivet City fans, I have so many great memories. Sorry, I'm gonna be battle crying all throughout the stream anytime I get up just because it was leg day. And if you could get like a thermo, a thermal reading of my body all of this is green on my legs it's bright red i can't even like bend 90 degrees it was i was feeling good in the gym you know those days when those days when you feel good in the gym you should push it because there's gonna be days where you don't feel good and you just gotta you gotta push through the workout but those days where you feel good you feel strong your energy your recovery those days push yourself that's when you're gonna find the most growth i was feeling real good my hips my hips was feeling um real loose so like i was hitting them deep squats I'm paying for it today, boy. <laughs> on those parks. So, any chance? <laughs> I'm paying for it today. In NBA 2K25. In NBA 2K25, we're celebrating NBA 2K15. We're bringing back all four My Park courts remastered for users to play. That includes Sun Drenched Sunset Park, the Industrial Rivet City. We have the Old Town Flyers Park, and of course, that year we had the My Park Championship. The Warriors is trying to take a shit after yeah, leg day. <laughs> Hey, uh, you said it, I didn't, but you're not wrong, bro. This was me trying to take it, like, bro, like, you can't even, like, sit down. My, I can't even, like, joke it. Like, you, I have to fall back on the toilet like this. <laughs> He's not wrong, dog. He is not wrong, bro. I was struggling this morning, bro. I was like, this is some bullshit, bro. <laughs> These are all oh my god. Down to the very last detail. Uh, next gen lighting, just like we did with the Rivet City rooftop court. It's been a long oh time. Oh my god, dude. For the first time, it's literally been over 10 years since people have played on these courts. We're going to be putting out one, you know, per said <laughs> It's been 10 years since you guys played on these courts. Okay, and like, why is that a selling point? For four seasons. It's something I didn't want to put out as an event where there was leaderboards and people were sweating and trying to get to the top. Like, it's not really. Wait, did he say that's a seasonal event? Hold up. These are all <laughs> HD remasters down to the very last detail, next-gen tech, next-gen lighting, just like we did with the Rivet City rooftop court. It's been a long time, but for many users, this will be for the first time. It's literally been over 10 years since people have played on these courts. We're going to be putting out one, you know, per season for the first four seasons. It's something I didn't want to put out as an... Mm -mm -mm. An event where there was leaderboards and people were sweating. So there's always a catch, um, chat. It's not really not the vibe. There's of always sports. a catch. This is about reliving past memories with your friends, having a great time. You're gonna earn 2x rep in this, that sweet 2xp. Look, I'm ready to go on these now. Can you at least tell the fans which remaster is coming in season one? During the back half of season one, we're gonna go back and we're gonna visit the Old Town Flyers Park. And while competition was, you know, a major goal for the team this year, fun is ever at the top of our list. Wanna play basketball? Dailies and weeklies, guy. The fun thing we added to the game this year is called the Squad Finder. It is a place for you, like the name says, to go find like-minded players who are Find your perfect team squad, instantly connect with like-minded players and hit the courts together. Whether you're looking for a quick game or a dedicated team, Squad Finder has you covered. Microphone status. Ooh! Now this is a feature I could use. This is good for trolling. I can set it to microphone status, microphone on. <laughs> are trying to Tinder for 2K is crazy. The singles you are. It's a great way for you to establish some new connections, build some chemistry with new players to compete. That with. might be useful for me. Another fun thing we added to the game this year is a brand new mode called the track. The track is an indoor karting warehouse where what? you can do a new. Uh, is this a bat? This is a basketball game, right? We're watching a video about a basketball game, right? What the fuck? Build some chemistry with new players to compete with. Another fun thing we added to the game this year is a brand new mode called the track. 
The track is an indoor karting warehouse where you can do a new race every single week, and the winner who has the best time at the end of each week wins 1 million BC. This is why people hate y'all. <laughs> what the fuck, Ronald? What the fuck is that? Hey, this shit better be off somewhere else in the city away from the games. I don't need niggas zipping and zooming all around the park like Mario Kart lagging up the place. And this shit looks awful, by the way. Look how stiff the animations are. Yo, they're so ass. This has got to be one of the most untalented development teams I've ever seen. Because outside of basketball animations, which is mocap, so it's not even re really them animating... It shows they have a serious lack of talent when it comes to animating shit. Fun thing we added to the Because they cannot... Y'all remember that dodgeball shit? That shit was stiff. Anything in 2K that has nothing to do with basketball, they cannot program it. This has got to be one of the most untalented oh, AAA teams track. out there. The track is an indoor karting warehouse where you can do a new race every single... How the fuck do you make a stiff-ass driving game? There's no textures anywhere. This, this racetrack looks like shit. Yo, shout out to Dark Elm and Kendra with the sub. Dodgeball was like this shit looks stiff, bro. A week, and the winner who has the best time at the end of each week wins <laughs> one million BC. <laughs> casual courts. The game this year to really help out new users is called Casual Courts. It's kind of like your safe zone to play as a new user. The only people that can step on these courts are other Gran Turismo 2K experienced users to NBA 2K. These are a great way for new users. Was that nigga glitching in the background? Hold it, my bugging. Look like right here. To play as a new user. Yeah. Look. Chat. Oh my God. Has anybody else caught this? The game this year. It's lagging in the background. It's called casual. Watch, watch right here. Of course. It's kind of like your safe zone to play as a new user. You see that? Only people that can step on these. The ba yo, it's let. <laughs> Nobody's on the servers. Remember where you heard it here first. Red flag. These courts are other people who are new and inexperienced users to NBA 2K. It's you lagging right there. New users just to learn the game. Except Red flag, the clip it. Foundation of NBA 2K25, and that continues directly in the city. Nobody's on the servers right now. What is it lagging for? It literally proves my point. This has got to be one of the most untalented group of developers. If they can't, if it's not a dribble animation, these niggas turn into Stevie Wonder. One thing we added. Hollow helps. Is also, what what determines a casual gamer? Like, what what determines somebody being on a casual? Being able to access the casual hoops, is there gonna be like some type of ELO or something? A little informational kiosk. We actually call yeah, it. If it ain't mocap, they cap them. Activate them. You get a video of our very own Chris Manning and Shakedown telling you about what this building is about, what the experience is inside, what kind of difficulty level it is, and basically just trying to find the right fit for you. Yeah, I think Hollow Help is a great addition to the series to help educate fans about all things new in the city. If I do say so myself. They think 2K niggas wanna learn. That's cute. Well, the acting's pretty top notch, too, eh? <laughs> Chris, you did a great job, not gonna lie. And then, go back. I think he said it when you were talking. Okay, let me go to let me go back to casual and listen to what he was saying. Let me like what's the what's the stipulation on this? Added to the game this year to really help out new users is called casual courts. It's kind of like your safe zone to play as a new user. The only people that can step on these courts are other people who are new and inexperienced users to NBA 2K. These are a great way for new users just to learn the game. Accessibility was a major foundation of NBA 2K25, and that continues directly in the city. No, he didn't. He didn't define it. Like what defines a new player? Is it for people who have 10 games or less? Is it for people with a, with, a, with a negative win percentage? Like, how do they determine who can access those courts and who can't? It still doesn't really explain. One thing we added to the yeah, game that was vague. is a little informational kiosk. We actually call them hollow helps. And whenever you activate them, you get a video of our very own Chris Manning and Shakedown telling you about what this building is about, what the experience is inside, what kind of difficulty level it is, and basically just trying Excuse to find the right fit for you. Yeah, I think Hollow Help is a great addition to the series to help educate fans about all things new in the city. And if I do say so myself, the acting's pretty top notch too, eh? Chris, you did a great job, not gonna lie. And that brings us to the end of this NBA 2K25 Courtside Report on the city. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. They should keep it to everyone in the rookie so tier. Oh, yeah, maybe they can go by, like, the levels. The Only problem with that is people are probably going to make Smurf accounts. Years. Please enjoy the game. We cannot wait for you to get it on launch day. And with that, we'll see all of you in the city where you can play. I, yeah, I feel like um, the, the issue with that is people will probably make Smurf accounts. Like, maybe, like, losing percentages, but then even still, people might lose on purpose just to get on the casual courts. It's kind of hard to... Kind of hard to tell. Smurf City. Yeah. Yeah. The court report didn't do much for me. Um, well, they have the actual article here. Let's see if there's something in here that's different that we didn't already know. Boulevard of the Stars, we know. User feedback from our community drives everything in the... <laughs> cap. 
user feedback from our community drives everything. Isn't that isn't this the same company that flew out like a hundred content creators? Let them publish all them five nine YouTube video builds about how they can get like five legend uh, badges with a five nine build. And, the, and within an hour of all those videos dropping, Mike Wang tweets out that, hey, guys, we're going to patch that shit. It's not going to be in the game. He said, you may see some videos. That, what do you mean you may see some videos out there? You flew them niggas out. What do you mean you're taking feedback from the community? No, you're taking marketing, free marketing from them. That's what you fly them out for. Instantly nerfed. How you patch the game before it comes out. So now you're making all them creators look stupid, which is why you got to be careful about which corporation you want to get in bed with. I've never understood why some of these creators who go to Community Day for 2K want to be a part of it so much. This is one of the worst companies to work for. There's so many cool companies that they let you say what the fuck you want as long as you like respect it. But this community right here, bro, that community day shit is definitely used to silence people. Um, shout out to Dooms and D-Man. Right. Uh, proving Grounds. Yeah, we already learned about that. Oh, here's the different tiers. For the, so the prizes for the, the, the Proving Grounds. This is where you begin. Do well and you'll move up. Your level will now be displayed. So when you hit gold rank, you'll get plus 10% on rep, plus extra 100 VC. Platinum, 25 rep, 250. 50%, 500. Double the rep. Top ranked icon, 500 win bonus, animated player ba uh, banner. So these are the prizes you get for sweating. Uh, you might be right, Nomad. I don't think these prizes are... They might still be in the park ruining everybody's day. I don't think these prizes are strong enough to make people want to want to keep playing. Maybe if you can get to like this rank right here, because you get extra rep for the people who care about grinding the rep. But I am curious to know what's the percentage of the 2K community that actually cares to be like the first legend or something like that. I don't know. I feel like the legend grind is for people who are chronically unemployed. But who knows? Um play anywhere win anywhere if i catch y'all race carding on 2k i'm on your ass <laughs> we saw that my court we saw that it just looks like a repeat of everything in the video rising elite affiliations do you get any bonuses for this if you join rise led by shakedown you'll play in the heart of a yep 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 yep, yep. yeah but do you get a bonus no no bonuses okay uh welcome to the city yeah this is just a repeat of the video i think chronically unemployed chronically unemployed bro iconic parks are back we've excited to announce that 2k25 will celebrate 2k15 by bringing back all four my parks as an event in the event center but uh, da, 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 this includes the sundrich sunset park oh the rivet city in the old town wow these are getting remasters down to the last detail while incorporating new gen tech and lighting. It looks the same to me. They just look up res. They don't look like uh, they look absolutely breathtaking. And we can't wait for our community to experience these all over again for the first time. OK, uh, we'll be unveiling a new remaster during each of the first four seasons. The events will feature double XP and double rep for the entire duration. We didn't want these to be about sweating for prizes or leaderboards. This is all about having a tremendous time and revisiting these love my parks with their friends, which is funny because early in this article, they said that they based the city off the feedback from the community. Well, maybe my pulse isn't correct, but from the videos I'd be watching from 2K creators, the feedback would be what they missed is not only these parks, but they they missed the days. I forgot what it was called, but those days where um you had all three communities going at one another in like a war for the most points to see which was the best park. That people were literally sweating on the game to be the oh sunset's better, rivets better, that ri rival day, yeah yeah yeah. So when you say we didn't want these to be about sweating for prizes or, or on leaderboards, but then you're also saying you care about the feedback, you seem kind of out of touch with the community because people like that rival day shit um rep and legend we enjoyed watching the community's dedication for the rep guy in this past year along with the intense competition that came with it uh but, but so you get a bunch of different prizes i would imagine banners and shit uh in 2k25 the year-long rep system is divided into four categories each with five tiers rookie one to five starter to one veteran and then legend at each tier you'll unlock rewards such as new cap breakers with 15 total available to earn as you advance through the rep tiers is this only for park or is this for all online modes <clears throat> these can not only increase your attribute ratings beyond those max potential caps but also contribute towards meeting the attribute requirements needed to unlock new animation badges takeovers da 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 
Once you reach Legend 1, you can become eligible for a spot in the top 10 leaderboard. The last rival day was 2K17, and they didn't even give out a new part for the winner. That was the beginning of the end. Yeah. I talk about that in my new video. Like, 2K17 was the first... 2K was the... 2K17 was the... I literally say in the script, 2K17 was the first game where I started to see whispers of being lazy. And then 2K18 is where you really started to see the community switch up on people. Uh... At the end of the Bullet Five Stars, we commemorate the first player to reach legend each year. Some of the most dedicated players in 2K history. We're excited to see who's the first legends who will be in 2K25. Do they get a free copy of the game if you become like the first legend? Bro, I need that video ASAP. It's not coming out this week. I got a note from my editor on Tuesday that they were like halfway through. They'll have it to me by the end of the week. So probably Monday or Tuesday it'll come out. Because uh, I told him, I was like, take your time with it. It's fine. Because he said it was, he said it was, he's like, this is your biggest project you ever did, which makes me think it probably will be at least 40 minutes, maybe longer. Because I don't, um, there's a lot of stuff in there, but like cuts and uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited. I, yeah, I'm with you. I'm excited to watch it back. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Take a trip to the new Triple Threat Park. Use the fast travel subway. I'm also excited because I, like I said, it'll be the first really long video that I do. That kind of helps me understand like okay is this the route i should take yo shout out to j2 lifted with the five gifted subs i appreciate you help a brother re hit, the, hit that sub goal uh we're debuting a new shop called limited edition where clothing drops from an ever revolving list of fashion brands will be available first you guys think we'll ever see the yeezys you think we'll ever see yeezys in there like ronnie said gatorade gym yeah blah 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 <laughs> this is why this is why the game be lagging because niggas be getting jiggy in the background and shit uh i'm over here on youtube checking for that video nah 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 nah. i might tweet it out so you'll know because i haven't dropped anything this week this year we're focusing on our efforts of giving the community what he wants yo shout out to ert with the five gifted i appreciate you y'all showing love today it's payday it's friday right powerful niggatry and closing remarks this year we're focused on efforts of giving the community what it wants in the city and we're grateful <laughs> this year we're focused on efforts of giving the community what it wants and then you follow that up with in the city well, what the city, what the community wants is not the city. The downfall of NBA 2K was the neighborhood, and we didn't even know it. Because when the neighborhood came the city, we don't want that shit no more. We just want to load into the park. We want quick matchmaking. We just want to play the game. Yo, shout out to Dell with the uh, gifting, gifting autumn subs. I appreciate you, bruh. I appreciate you. Boom, boom, boom. And then last but not least for the 2K stuff I got for you, um, NBA 2K25 soundtrack has been revealed. We got some... What the images is what the fuck elon fix your website how long have you been working on that video total it's actually the longest video i've ever worked on total it took me two weeks to produce it just because it was 16 pages of writing that took me several days to do um then it was a lot of research which took me days to do then it was i spent a whole week networking parlaying because I had a, it, it reminded me why I don't like collabing and working with a lot of people. Because then you become on other people's time, which everybody that everybody was nice that I worked with, but you know, you're on other people's time. So it was a lot of messaging people back and forth, um, trying to get the assets that I needed. Uh, so yeah, it took me like two weeks to produce the video, uh, and then it took me three and a half hours to record the audio. I was lightheaded <laughs> going to bed. It was rough. But so I was like, I don't know how the video is going to turn out. Uh, how long is it? I don't know. I don't know until it's done. Um, uh, let's see, bro. What the fuck? There we go. So we got Key Glock. I'm surprised Killer Mike's on there. Killer Mike, Don Tolliver, Kodak Black, Tommy Richmond. We got TikTok music on there. Million dollar baby. Little baby T Grizzly, Ski Mask Slum. Really? Got the clips. Ooh, we gonna have grinding on there? Or when's the last time you heard it like this? Nux. I don't know who that is. Larry June. There you go, Ab. Little Larry June. Kenny Beats. SZA. Mike Towers. Eminem. Big Boy. Schoolboy Q. This playlist actually might be fire. 310. I don't know who that is. Dave and Central C. They got Central C. Babyface Ray. Shmino. Big to Plug. Lotto. Rich and Mary. Oh, my God. Ken Carson. Lil Tecca. They got some Ice Spice. Travis Scott. Amine. Kate Chinacha. I'm not going to lie. They actually got some names on here. KRS1. Chase and Status, I have no clue who that is. DJ Snake and Peso Plum, I have no clue. A hey, Boogie, DDG. Hey, y'all make fun of DDG, but he on the playlist. Shout out to him. Quavo, Big Benny, okay. We got the Butcher coming. I have no clue who Mondo Slade is. Moneybag, Carol G, 
BK to Rula, Paris, Texas. I wonder where he's from. Uh, <laughs> watch the ride. Oh, there you go. Doshi, some of y'all was talking about them. Nux is a UK rapper. They fire? You don't know Peso Pluma is? Nah, I don't know. Put me on. Put me on. Troy Boy, Young Miko, Mano. Got some Young Boy, Tutsi, Nav. I go lie. They got a lot. They got, they got, this playlist might be fire. The Butcher coming, Dicko. Yeah, this is 2K, the names that are going to be on there, on the, on the giant. Paris, Texas is two people. Are they from Paris, Texas? Just, just out of curiosity, are they from Paris, Texas? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all the 2K dudes I got for y'all. I got a tinkle.